very experienced. He's actually talking to the player, so he's explaining the situation, which, as a player, that's all you can ask for. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a free kick by the looks of it. Correct decision by Neil Doyle. The set piece again. Pats have an overload at the back stick. There was 2v1 against Paddy Barrett, but they seem quite happy to leave the two lads at the back. Ball it's a great ball, Joe post, Redmond. And it's in the back what of a the goal. Nets. The opening goal of the evening from Joe Redmond. What a delivery in. And I was looking at Paddy Barrow was drawn out here to close the cross down. And you'd almost need him in the centre of the box to, to compete with Joe Redmond for that header. But great ball into the back post and great header. And we are off the mark here at Tolka Park. The first goal goes to the Saints. Number four, Joe Redmond. You can see it here. The ball just comes right the way back. Yeah. And what a delivery it is from that distance as well. Just loops it over towards the back post. Amazing ball. No back lift or anything. He just first time delivers the ball. Really, really good. Shelburne point of view, they'd be really kicking themselves. I think Damien Duff still wasn't too happy about the decision. Straight to the fourth official after the goal. Levy does oh, really well. There. Key and Levy, oh, come out and a chance Forrester. here, oh. and you would have bet your house on it for Forrester to put that in the top corner, Just and he is back. guided over into the away fans. Four minutes of additional time. There we go, Mark Doyle, ball across, and I think he hit it with the laces. All he had to do was keep that down, wasn't it? Just keep it down. It's easier said up here, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Just has to deal with Jay McGrath, who's been really, really good this evening. Moylan again, puts it inside. Chance for Jack Moylan, and again, it's deflected behind for a corner. A great challenge. Amazing defending there. Jamie Lennon. Jamie Lennon coming across, and you can see McGrath was, he was afraid to get too close. Obviously, the booking in the first half is still playing on his head, and he was backing off, and Moylan chops inside, but one amazing touch, defending. It's, it's one touch too many again for Moylan. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Shelburne of four players behind him just receiving the pass so St. Pat's are happy enough to let Shelburne build up from the back absolutely and the turn from Moylan again he's away McGrath could be in trouble that here could hit, that could indeed number 26 Jay McGrath and he is sent off for a second yellow card and a second foul on Jack Moylan yeah he turns to read that yeah it's criminal here we go like Lunny is getting it there it's just it's gone through like two or three lads and could be a bit soft, but yeah, with the crowd and so it is indeed the new boy. Yeah. The Silva Cabral. So we are gonna see him. We, we spoke about a free him. match. Are we gonna see him on the pitch? We are indeed. So now's his chance to go out there and impress Damien Duff, Joey Bryan. Or so here to make an impression, and let's see how his fitness is. But with 10 minutes now, coming on to a double. Now, double Shane party. Farrell cuts it across. Is Big it? chance! It is! It's Can you believe it? It's the substitute with his touch. first touch. <laughs> the Silver Cabral. I don't think he knew much about it, but look at that. Dublin Derby. That is absolutely there. outstanding. I don't think he knew too much about it. The ball across was a low one by Shane Farrell, and it seemed to get stuck under his feet, but somehow we managed to toe poke the ball in, and with 10 minutes to go, it was all to play for here. And with his first touch, the Silver Cabral levels it up for Shelburne. And game on. Game on is right. I was thinking, was he offside here? We might see it in the replay, but... He's just drifted inside. No, he's not offside at all. So here comes the corner from Wood. Good pace. Paddy Barrett. Paddy Barrett. Yes. Oh, my Lord. Paddy Barrett, what a header. He's won the game. What a goal from Paddy Barrett. We only spoke about his last set piece, and he 
put it over the bar and I don't know whether Breslin thinks this is going with what a header and that's going to be one of the biggest goals of the season for Shelburne and of all people it's Paddy Barrett what a header that is we'll take a look at this one again oh, it's like he just never got off the ground to clear at the back post but what a header from Paddy Barrett he's 12 yards out and he puts a top corner forward for Jack Moylan he's done very well and that's going to be a free kick Shell's way and we've just ticked over six minutes so the added time is gone there it is and there's the full time whistle Euphoria Toka Park. Huge win for Shelburne. But dismay for the St. Patrick's Athletic fans in the away end, but they applaud their players nonetheless. And rightly so, they put in a shift tonight, St. Patrick's Athletic, put all three points and all of tonight's good feelings go to Shelburne. So thank you for joining us here from myself, from Derek. We look forward to hosting you again here on League of Ireland TV for the next game. We've got a break now until the 22nd of September, so we'll see you in a few weeks' time. Thank you for joining us, and have a good night.